So that was the one that was supposed to make you uncomfortable, but apparently I didn't do my job. But there's a reason this one makes me a bit uncomfortable because I've never played it in front of people. And it's not one of my own, but it's been one that's been extremely difficult for me to learn over the last... I've been playing since five, so I'll let you do the math. Um, my three favorite guitarists growing up were Frank Zappa, Hisashi Imai, who's a guitarist for a visual kai band called Buck Tick, and Lindsey Buckingham from Fleetwood Mac. Nice. And I was kind of, I was, knew I was going to do this, and the thing that kind of excited me about it, as much as it scared me halfway shitless, is that there was that margin for error. And... I kind of sat and recanted on times I've played up here and I've lived up in Dallas for the majority of my life. And the feeling behind that song really started to hit me. So uh, make sure I'm in tune here. This isn't the uh, version on the album by any chance of theirs, uh, Fleetwood Mac, but it is the one that when he first started playing it live after they reunited, it's that arrangement. <laughs> Looking out for love in nights of steel. Oh, I'll build you a kingdom in that house on a hill. Looking out for love, big, big love. You're saying that you love me. That you always will Oh, you begged me to keep you In that house on a hill Looking out for love 